Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to install the Minecraft betas. Uh, currently right now for Windows 10 edition, there's the 1.16 beta that is available and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Uh, but first, you need to make sure that you have a backup of your worlds, which is why you see I have a Minecraft backup world right here, or folder with my worlds. Um, as you can see, I have the worlds that I, mostly the ones that I cycle are the Minecraft No Cheats and the Night of Survival for those two series because they're 1.15 and 1.16. So uh, those are the two main worlds that I uh, switch it between. So that's why I basically have the Minecraft Worlds folder and the Minecraft Backup folder uh, shortcuts so that I can easily copy paste between them and I'll know that I have a full backup. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys where you can access the Minecraft Worlds folder so that you can make a shortcut. Uh, so that's the first thing you want to do before you literally do anything. So you want to go into your file manager here. You want to go into your C uh, users. And then once you went, go to your user here, uh, you'll see the app data folder, but it's like uh, grayed out. You have to go to the view section and you have to check the hidden items box. As you can see, when I uncheck it, the that folder goes away. And then when I check it, app data folder appears. So for app data folder to appear, you have to check the hidden items thing um, in the view section. So once you have that, you want to go to app data, local, and packages. Now, as you can see, there's a lot here. Uh, there's a lot. You'll, you will probably be like, how do I find which folder I don't need? Well, you want to scroll all the way down to Microsoft.Minecraft. Um, it should be fairly easy to find once you find it. Yep, right here. Uh, it's going to look something like this. Microsoft.Minecraft UWP. You go here. And then you go to local state games com.mojang and this will be your minecraft world folder right here see it's the same thing as if i were to just go to my shortcut so you can just make a shortcut there and i'll be good to go um and then you just make a new folder on your desktop and copy paste these worlds into that and then you'll have uh, yourself that backup so once you have that backup you want to go ahead and uh Look for Xbox Insider Hub. Um, if you don't have it, you'll probably have to look at it from the Microsoft Store. Um, but just sign into your uh, Xbox Live account through here. And you want to just wait for it to open. Hopefully it actually does it. <laughs> and does it just background me? There we go. All right, so then you want to go to the menu section here. If you're already signed in and go to Insider Content. Uh, once you're here on Insider Content, you'll see available Minecraft for Windows 10 and whatever other games might have betas that you have. Um, you go here. And then you press the green join button, and then you want to make sure you're choosing the correct one. Uh, the Minecraft for Windows 10, which is the top one, is for 1.16, and this is for RTX. Um, RTX is only support for uh, NVIDIA Shield uh, uh, graphics, so if you have like that or higher, but I don't think anyone really has that, unless you're an actual professional YouTuber, which if you're a professional YouTuber, why are you even watching this tutorial? So uh, you want to first option and click that and it'll say all this blah 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 and accept uh once you have that uh you it'll it'll either auto open the store or you'll or you'll have to go uh into the store yourself but most of the time it should auto send you to the store yep there you go you just gotta give it a moment to do that uh depending on how fast your internet connection is i guess that's how it uh works uh, but yeah, and then you wait for Microsoft Store to open, and then you update it. I don't know why it's taking so long, but yeah, there you go. And it should automatically start downloading, I guess. Um, it shouldn't have to press auto or update. It just updates it for you. So uh, yeah, uh, once this uh, downloads, uh, we'll be back. And it should be uh, done now. Uh, so just checking to make sure it resumed the recording there. Uh, if we open this up, it should be on the beta version. Now, if it is on the beta version, um, the, the more trickier part is the, uh, uninstalling and unenrolling from the beta because you do have to uninstall. That's why, uh, you want to make sure you back up the world before you uninstall the beta. Because otherwise, um, you're going to lose your world like I did. But we don't talk about that. Uh, so, yep, there we go. Uh, play beta. Do note that when you do play the beta, though, um, if you play on a version, on a world that's for a different version, it'll probably corrupt it. So that's why I want to have a backup as well. So 
there you go, we're out of the beta. Now, let's say you want to exit out of the beta. Well, you got to uninstall the game. So you basically go back here to Insider Content, and uh, you want to go to Manage, and then you can just press Unenroll, and Done, and Accept. I don't know why you need to accept to Unenroll, but uh, that's Microsoft. Anyway, in order to uninstall, you just go to uh, Minecraft, again, back up your worlds before we do this, people, because you don't want to be like me and lose your worlds. Um, you want to install, and I'll say, Zap, and it's a uh, relative info will be uninstalled, blah, 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 do that. And then if you, uh, wait for it to be uninstalled, it'll probably just disappear or something once it's done. It's probably being slow because I'm recording at the same time, uh, but there we go. It's uninstalled now. So now you go back to the Microsoft Store and search Minecraft, or you can just click, uh, the thing, I guess, if it shows up there. Where is it? Eh, I don't know. I'll just look it up. Usually I find searching for it way better <laughs> than clicking whatever else they have, and then you can just press install again, and we'll wait for it to uh, do its thing, because my Wi-Fi is being slow, so yeah, we'll be right back. Alright, and now it's done again, so if we just boot it back up, you should be back on the regular Minecraft version. So yeah, it's pretty simple. I don't know why I'm only had so many problems with it, uh, but uh, yeah, that's how you get into the beta and out of the beta between 1.14 and 1.16 so uh that's about all i have for you thanks for watching if you enjoyed make sure to like if you liked comment down below if it helped and i'll see you guys all in the next one